Hey guys, this is going to be a uh, recent pickups video. Um, I'll show you guys everything I have going on. I'm also planning on doing a Ustream tomorrow night, so uh, definitely try and come in. Uh, it's probably going to be around 11 o'clock Eastern Time uh, tomorrow night, uh, Tuesday. It is really dark in here. And uh, that's it. It's going to go right into the game. It's just choppy editing, but I just couldn't post because I went over 10 minutes. Um, season 1 of Mad Men. I don't know if you guys watch it out there, but uh, if you don't, definitely check it out. It's on AMC. I think it's up to season like 3 or 4 now. I'm just getting into it, um, and I found the uh, found the Blu-ray for season one on eBay for fifteen dollars with free shipping, and the guy sent it out the next day. It was it was great. So, kudos to him. So now into the games. Now that I've wasted a minute and a half, uh, the first game I got this to complete my the the original um, series, uh, Siphon Filter Two. Uh, I found it on Game TZ for like four bucks. Um, so I have now uh, Siphon Filter One, Two, and Three um, on the PlayStation One. And, uh, you know, it's not in the best condition. I failed to read, uh, failed to read, uh, the guy's comments on the game. But, uh, you know, whatever. If, as long as it plays, he said it will play, so that's all I care about right now. Uh, the screen, the, uh, case has a crack in it, but whatever. Um, I just wanted it to finish the, the three. I, I don't know if there's any more. I know there's been other Siphon Filter games since then on the PlayStation 2 and PSP and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any more on the PlayStation 1, so I'll have to check that out. And if so, I'll try and, and snag those. It's going to be my new uh, it's gonna be my, my new style. I'm going to try and just complete series. I'm going to try and work on the Crash series next, so if you have any, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll try and buy them from you. Uh, next up, I got this at a uh, thrift store last week for like $2. Uh, Time Crisis, the original one. Uh, this is actually in awesome condition. It was uh, it was $5, but they were having a half-off sale on uh, all the uh, like different tags and stuff like that. This is literally, I don't think it's ever been played. It looks fantastic. Everything is complete. So I was really happy to find that. And then I also picked up, it was sitting right next to it, because I found out about the sale after I had paid for that. Um, this uh, I got a Tenchu Stealth Assassins on the PlayStation 1. Uh, this one has seen better days, for sure. Um, it's not in the best condition, especially the, the screen, uh, especially the, uh, the case. As you can see there, it's got a lot of scratches, and, and actually it's broken. But I have other CD case I can, I can swap that out for. Uh, next up, I traded uh, my old cell phone for the next batch of games, uh, if, you, if you can believe it. Um, so I traded my old Blackberry for these, because my, my Blackberry is worthless you know, these days. Uh, it was the curve. So I got uh, the first game I found there. He let me pick out five games for it, uh, which I think was pretty cool. Um, one of them, though, that they didn't have the case. I, I checked every single one except for the one that I bought. I, I thought it was Dynasty Warriors 5. And uh, he didn't have, and then the, the game, it wasn't the right game in the case. I didn't check it until when I got home. So I'll have to just go in there and ask him to swap it out for something else. So that was the first thing. Uh, so I got Guitar Hero 2 for the uh, 360. Um, that's the only, no, I'm missing uh, Guitar Hero 5. But everything else, I have all the other Guitar Heroes on the 360. So it was cool to have that. Um, I didn't like it the first time I played it, but I think it was more of the, the guitar. I like having, I have the Guitar Hero 3 controller. Um, and then the other game I got, uh, I'm not a huge fan of it, but uh, I like the second one a lot more than the first, and it's uh, Rainbow Six Vegas. Um, you know, came complete, everything's in good condition. Um, so yeah, I have to rebuy the second one because I actually like that one a lot. Uh, the next game I got from him was on the, whoa, I'll shut that off, aim. Uh, the next thing that I got was uh, for the Xbox, Otagi, or Otogi, Myth of Demons. If you guys have played this, please let me know. Uh, I just had never heard of it, and I'd never seen it before, and it was sitting on the shelf. I was like, you know what, I'll grab that right, and give that a world. So that's that. And then the last game I got was, uh, I'm not a big Resident Evil fan, but I got Resident Evil Outbreak. Uh, I don't really see this one around that often. So uh, to get it, you know, I was happy to add it to my collection. Reading the back, it's pretty funny. Um, it's Gamers.com said it's the best PS2 game back in 2003. Um, but, you know, I'm not a big RE fan, so we'll see. Uh, next thing I got was, I, I, there's a Toys R Us right next to the restaurant that I work at, and on Friday, I literally made, like, no money, so I was like, you know what, let me just go, uh, I made, like, 30 bucks, I guess, so I was like, you know what, let me go check out what, uh, Toys R Us has, um, to see if they have any, you know, just bargain bin stuff lying around that I don't have on the PlayStation 2 or, you know, whatever. Um, cause they don't, they're actually, I don't think they, they don't carry Xbox anymore and they don't carry GameCube. So all they have left is PS2 stuff and then the new gen stuff. So they had, you know, a little bargain bin of stuff. And, uh, for $5 I got, uh, Fatal Fury Battle Volume, uh, Battle Archives Volume 2. It was brand new. I don't remember the last time I, uh, I bought a brand new PlayStation 2 game. But, uh, w with it comes, uh, 
Final Fight, uh, Fatal Fury, I'm sorry, Fatal Fury Real Bout, um, Fatal Fury Special Real Bout, and uh, RB2 The Newcomers. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably never play it, but for five bucks I didn't have it in my collection, and that was that. Uh, moving right along, actually, oh, wait, never mind. And then I bought a couple other games, actually no, I showed that to you guys already, so I can, I can leave that out, I definitely showed that to you. Um, next up was the uh, buy two get one free sale at GameStop. That happened, I think, was it Thursday through Saturday? So I went Saturday, and I picked up some stuff. Uh, the free game that I got was uh, Power Stone Collection on the PSP. Um, on, on the blog we did a, uh, a um, Flashback Friday, uh, probably about a month or two ago. And uh, we covered um, Power Stone 2. And uh, I had never played Power Stone, to be honest. I've never played it. And at least I don't think I have. Uh, and, you know, they're hard to come by now on the Dreamcast, at least for, for a reasonable price. So uh, I've, I got the Power Stone collection. It's Power Stone 1 and 2 uh, for the PSP. I, I don't really play the PSP that much anymore, uh, which, kinda, which is kind of sad. But uh, for free, I, I couldn't beat it. There was nothing else that I really wanted to check out. And then I've been really into RPGs lately. And uh, I picked up two RPGs actually, um, one on the PlayStation 2, one on the Dream on the uh, 360. The first one is Dragon Quest VIII: um, Journey of the Cursed King. It just looks really cool from the from the cover. I, I hear D uh, Dragon Quest games in in Japan are like you know crazy big, so I wanted to see what the whole what the fuss was about. Dragon Quest II just came uh, Dragon Quest and High, excuse me, it just came out on the on the DS. I've been, you know, it looks interesting, but uh, I figure, if, you know, this was ten bucks. Let me check it out. That was before the edge card, so it was probably like well, like nine, nine and change. So Dragon Quest was uh, was the one I picked up. That was ten, and then for six or seven dollars, I picked up Enchanted Arms on the PS on um, on the 360. Excuse me. Um, so uh, I don't really know that much about this. It was cheap, and there was really nothing else there I really wanted to check out. I've just been on a, on a RPG kick lately. Um, I was playing through um, Mario and Luigi Battles Inside Story, and then I'm playing through Chrono Trigger right now on the SNES. Um, so, cool stuff right there. I gotta try and hurry up. The next game is, I got a cool story. I was just sitting in a, in a GameStop, you know, with my sisters hanging out. We were waiting to get pizza, and I was just looking around. And then some guy walked in, he was trying to sell New Super Mario Brothers Wii back, and it was sealed. So he was like, they were like, oh, you have to open it up outside, we'll get, you know, they'll give you 20 bucks for it, maybe. So he's like, all right. So I followed him outside, and I was like, you know what? If if you're just gonna sell it back to them for twenty bucks, I'll give you twenty bucks right now. And he was like, that's fine. So I gave him twenty bucks. I got New Super Mario Brothers Wii for twenty bucks, brand new. So that I was I was a happy camper after that. Started playing that, and uh, I played it a lot at my girlfriend's house. Uh, me, her, and, and her her sister and her sister's boyfriend. We all played it together. Um, it's it's a blast. I love it. I, I'm gonna play through it by myself. Um, there's just, you know, Chrono Trigger came along, and then that was it. I, I've been sucked into that, playing nonstop. Then the last two games I got today, I think they were both pretty good pretty good deals. Um, the first one, I found a guy on Craigslist selling Final Fantasy VIII for 10 bucks. It's the greatest hits, but, uh, you know, for $10, uh, I'm cool with it. Um, it's got some wear on the discs, but nothing that seems too major. You can always tell the first di in, in multi-disc games, the first disc always has the worst damage, and then as you move along... Disc 3 literally has nothing on it, and then Disc 4 is perfect. So people never really get that far into the games like that, myself included. So that was $10, and then the great awesomeness of the of the whole thing, I went to a thrift store today, I really have like no time left. Um, I went to a thrift store today and picked up, I, I always go there and they never really have anything too decent, um, but I went to the, by where they have the games, and sitting right on top was... Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the Xbox. I had this on the PS2 and I have it on the Dreamcast, um, but this is definitely the rarest. I got the, it was nine. It was marked up for nine dollars, but again the sale was was fifty percent off. I got this for four dollars and eighty eight cents. So finally, I have a really good um, thrift store find, and that's that. Um, I'll show you. I'll play any of these games tomorrow night at the. Uh, at the Ustream, just let me know what you guys want to see, and uh, that's it. And I don't don't expect any more videos uh, with what I've bought for a little while until at least my birthday in a couple weeks. So thanks, thanks you guys for watching.